your uh, late friend uh, Brock Little uh, said uh, about you. Kelly wants people to like him so much that he never says no, but his fame and success don't seem to feel very good to him. Mm. What do you think of that? Brock rarely said something that wasn't just spot on or true. Um, yeah, there's there there's a lot of things around um, fame or success that I find, I, I think if you look at people who are really successful, a lot of times they're doing it for strange reasons. Um, and I'd include, my, include myself in that, you know, I think, I think when I was young, I really, I just wanted to be recognized and noticed or something, you know, it was like a, a sense of insecurity. I wanted to be good at something so that it would like cover up um, any of my own personal insecurities. And so I, I found that I was, I became, I was, I was, I always felt like I was pretty gifted physically um, with being able to learn things or do things. And, you know, surfing became my craft. And, and uh, I felt like if I surfed really good or, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of psychoanalyzing myself a little bit here, but uh, it, looking back, it makes sense to me. Um, you know, I felt like it would make any kind of personal or family pain or insecurities kind of go away if I was really good at something, you know. And, um, you know, I could, I could always re resort to, um, to kind of relying on success, physical success or, you know, competitive success to, to, um, make me feel whole or something, you know, I don't know. That's a little bit of a, an overview or whatever, but it, it you know, I, and to we, what extent have you always found that to be true, that the success would make you? feel whole yeah I thought that the success would make me feel whole or whatever but you know it, it at the end of the day you've got to go to bed and live with yourself you know and um and in your own head and it just because I've had success or won titles or contests or made money those kind of things that that hasn't made any of the problems or issues that I deal with myself disappear you know it just um in some ways, it can it can probably make them a little more difficult because you're not forced to deal with things. There was a period of time where just because of your single-minded commitment to the sport, you would go pretty much months, I think, without calling your mom or your brothers. I mean, what was the mindset during that time? There were times where I felt like my mom was peering into my life a little too much and like making too strong opinions of my life. So at one point in the mid, you know, there's just this point in the mid 90s, mid, mid late 90s, where like a lot of things came to a head for me in my life. And I was trying to figure out my relationships and my friendships and my family stuff. And um, my mom and I started butting, butting heads really kind of heavily around it. and. At one point, I didn't speak to my mom for like six months, and um, but you know, I felt like I felt like she kind of crossed the line with me, telling me how to live my life, and I, I was trying to figure it out. And I, you know, I probably wasn't man enough to just grow up and say, "Oh, maybe my mom's right," or even if your mom's not right, you got to tell her she's right, you know, <laughs> and you got to just go, let it go, you know. Mom, moms are just trying to look out for you, but you know, I was I was struggling with being my own person and and finding my own identity and. Um, you know, unfortunately, it, 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 uh, our relationship suffered a bit for a while there. What was that process like for you of just finding yourself and your own identity? To find my own identity, I, I kind of had to, I felt like I had to have a little bit of like tough love with people around me somewhat. Um, Why? Well, because, you know, I was resentful about the, the, the money situation we had had where, you know, basically all my money was gone and... Um, and then, you know, also trying to have my mom tell me how to do things and why to do things. And I, I started, I, I kind of, well, you know, I did Baywatch and you I did. didn't, I was, well, I was very reluctant to do it. I really didn't want to do it, but my mom and my manager at the time really wanted me to do it. And, and, um, he more or less just signed me up without me approving it. And I don't know how, how that happens, but in my life at that time that happened and, um, I was so embarrassed that I was going to have to do the show, and I, d I just really didn't want to. I wanted to go surfing, and I wanted to win contests. I wanted to be a professional surfer, and 
that was it, you know? Um, you know, I wasn't trying to go be a, an actor and, you know, surfing wasn't some launch pad to acting. It was, surfing was my craft and that was what I was good at. I wish I had been a little more uh, mature in being able to deal with that, but I didn't have the skills at the time. All right, Kelly, so what should people do? Uh, they should subscribe, subscribe to Graham's channel, watch more clips from this interview, and, um, come on, where's the enthusiasm? Send, come send on! Him, send him 20% of your paycheck. Agreed, yes. <laughs>